Look out, here she comes Woman that I love Hello It's too bad you'll never know Hello Yeah, I can't tell that I love you Cause she has someone who makes her happy I'm a ghost in these walls Or at least I try to be Cause I hope that I'm not showing How I feel for her But she won't feel the same for me I've got this picture in my mind Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I thought I'd bring you a day in the life, um, but it is a lot later in the day than I actually planned. I actually <laughs> fell asleep. I took Lana to school, um, I went to Oldie, and then I came back, fell asleep for half an hour, and I needed a bath, so I've done that all now. I'm actually just sitting down to eat my breakfast. Um, tell me if this is not absolute gold. I don't know if you can see it, but I have got toast and then I've got cheese and beans and black pepper and salt and oh my goodness it's so hungry I was actually that hungry that I thought I'm gonna start eating it halfway through and then I'll start the vlog and I'm obviously hello can we talk about the mug I mean look at it it is so lovely cute I don't even know cute is a word but I feel like it is cute because the little ghost so yeah, absolutely loving that. I've got that from Etsy, so I will link it down below. So the plan for today was, or still is, it's about one o'clock now. Um, I've got to blitz around my whole house because for seven days I have been ill. Standard, very, when are you ever not ill? Um, I've actually still got a runny nose. So I've got to do that. I've got to put washing out, um, put washing, full washing away. So I've got to do that. I did... Um, film my Aldi haul or Aldi haul whatever you call it what is it Aldi Aldi someone let me know I I don't know um so yeah I did film a little haul it's nothing spectacular but I will pop that in now this is everything that I got from Aldi it's a really quick um Aldi haul it's really nothing special um but yeah we'll start over here so I got some strawberries because we're constantly out with strawberries um, I got this sweet leaf salad. I love this stuff. I don't like um, the other kind of salad. The like ones with actual leaves. Like I like crunchy salad. I've already opened these because I really fancied them. Um, but these are actually for my daughter Lana. I got these smoothies and they're so, so nice. I wish I got two packs now because I really want another one. Um, so for tonight, for an easy dinner, I've actually don't have the jar. Where is it? Hmm. Sorry everyone, so yeah, I got this chicken tikka masala um, cooking sauce just for a really easy dinner tonight. I've got some um, chicken breast fillets, I got normal rice and I just fancy some pilau rice so I got those as well. I actually find these a lot nicer than the um, sort of packs like this you get if that makes sense. So yeah, I always try and pick out um, these when I go to Aldi or Lidl. And then I have got some mushrooms and peppers as well um, to kind of bulk it out. So that's our dinner for tonight. And some pepper dumps, I forgot about that. <laughs> I got some 5% uh, minced beef because I'm going to do something with that. Maybe a spaghetti bolognese, maybe a cottage pie, I don't know. Um, I got some apple snacks, I really fancy some apples. I got some cheese. I got some beans. I might have beans on toast for lunch today. I don't know. Oh. Tannock's tea cakes. If you don't know, then you need to get to know because these are bloody brilliant. Uh, ibuprofen and paracetamol. Ibuprofen and paracetamol because you always need those in your house, especially if you're an ill person like me. Um, I actually picked up some Aldi floor wipes because yesterday the bin spilled all over the floor, and um, my partner was like, "Have you got any?" Um, <laughs> floor wipes or wipes I was like no I didn't and I remember these from years ago and they bloody smell amazing so yeah now I know some people are gonna be like Christmas but hold up just bear in mind I'm due a baby beginning of December early November uh, late November 
So when I see stuff, I'm gonna create a little stash and I'm not gonna tell anyone. I'm actually gonna pop it up there and I'm not gonna tell anyone. So my boyfriend absolutely loves these. So I got three packets of pink Smarties and these crisps. Oh, right, beef Wellington hand-cooked crinkle cut crisps. I mean, if my Wellington looked like that, that I'd be really happy. <laughs> um, but it never does. So, yeah, I got those. And I got these pigs in blankets. Oh, do you know what pigs in blankets are just... I think they're my favourite thing about Christmas dinner. Oh. But, yeah, so I picked those up. I think they were only, like, 79p a bag or something, so I thought I'll get those now. And then these were pound nineteen, I think. And, yeah, I just thought they'll be good for a stocking filler. So, yeah. I picked those up also I thought I better pack get some nappies so I don't know if these are a good one they had like some premium ones in as well so if they're really good or better than these ones then please let me know um from when Lana was young we always used um Aldi or Lidl and we never had a problem with them so I just thought I'd get them again so I got two packs they were two pound each I think so yeah two packs of those and I also got I saw these online um and I just thought I'd get these as well so yeah mama mama mia extra sensitive as mild as cotton wool and water zero percent night like they're like basically the water wipes but water wipes are double the price and these were like I think they were 69p or something like that. So yeah, I picked up six of those just to get us started. I just thought I'd better start now. So yeah, that is all I got from my quick Aldi shop. Um, I'm um, um, so yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna finish off eating this and drinking my cup of tea. I'm gonna blip the house. I've then got to go and get Lana. I've got to go to Argos and pick something up, which is in Sainsbury's. And I just need to pick up a couple of bits from Sainsbury's that I couldn't get in Aldi. Um, and that is about it, the plan for today. So I guess I will catch it up with you guys in a bit. <laughs> um, before I start tidying, it doesn't actually look that messy behind, it just needs a bit of a clean, do you know what I mean? Um, yeah, I wanna show you what I got from B&M yesterday. Um, really excitingly, I got some cotton buds. <laughs> Let me just move you up, sorry. There you go. So yeah, excitingly, I've got some cotton buds. Um, I got this Halloween um, metallic foil tablecloth. Um, I don't actually want this for, ooh, sorry. I don't want this for the tablecloth. I actually, I don't know what I'm gonna do with it. Maybe like drapes it somewhere, I don't know. But I just picked that up. Oh, this is what I'm really excited about. So I got up this. This is eight pound and it's a light up cobweb with spiders. So I'm gonna put that at the front of like my house and the window in the lounge because I think that will look really cool. Um, I will be doing a Halloween decorate with me video at some point. I'm probably gonna put them up. See, I want them up like now, but I just feel like, no hun, like we are early October. So that's just a bit extreme, isn't it? So I'm thinking I'm going to do the Halloween decorate with me, not this weekend, the next weekend, and then I'll try and get it up, um, like middle of October, middle late-ish October, but so it's up, ready for Halloween. Anyway, I'm rambling. Um, <laughs> mentioning the C word again, I got some Christmas lights and they're actually to go in the window as well in my front room, because I thought they would look really pretty. Um, I got these no more nails. I prefer these strips to command strips. So I'd really recommend them if you need to put things up in your house. Um, I find command strips always rip my wall um, thing off. Is it just me? Um, another Christmas item. I got a little snowflake wax melt. I mean, I just don't understand why we have to start buying stuff for Christmas. Like, if we if we mentioned it before, it's like this whole taboo subject, like as if talking about Christmas or buying Christmas is really bad before December. I'm sorry, but I love Christmas. It's one of my favorite things in the whole wide world. And if it was football or if it was something like that, I could talk about it all the time, couldn't I? 
no one would say anything. But with Christmas, you're not allowed to. So I think we should just start like a little collective group of people who love Christmas and can talk about it all the time and can play Christmas music before it's bloody December. Anyway, you can tell I'm getting very passionate about this. I got these because for my Halloween decorations, just because I can't bother to keep um, lighting up tea lights. I got these as well. Um, I can't remember who I saw on their YouTube talk about them before putting up lights. I've got this idea for the front door. Maybe I'll do it later and show you what I mean. I've got some peppercorn, because we need some peppercorn. That needs to go in the cupboard. Um, and another Christmas item I got was cinnamon and mulled wine. I actually got this from Home Bargains, not from B&M. But yeah, it was under a pound, so I thought, I'm going to grab it now. Because with the deliveries at the moment, everyone's telling me when you see something to grab it. So that's what I'm doing. But yeah, I'm going to get on with the tidying now. I really can't bother. <laughs> oh, I can't be bothered. But I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. You had me at a low Cause where you go is where I go I don't need nobody else I got you And you got me too You can ride all the blue I wanna do what you want to We can leave and run away Someday Someday done in I had so much planned for today but I just I just can't just can't get into gear I'm so tired which is weird so basically when I was ill um I was not sleeping at all like literally two hours sleep and last night was actually probably the best night's sleep that I've had in over a week I got like six hours straight um and I just feel just feel tired I think it's just all like caught up on me all of a sudden I just need like a whole week I need a vacation I need a holiday to just do you know what I mean catch up on sleep rest or yeah not that I would sleep much because I'm a terrible sleeper but uh, you know what I mean just keep up um I have done the lounge and I've done the kitchen I've put some washing out that I probably should have put on the line to dry this morning but Oh well, it's out, it's out, and if I showed you, if I could be bothered to walk upstairs about how much washing I've got, you'd be like, very, there's no need for that much washing. But when I was ill, like I was just going through clothes, like pyjamas and stuff, I just felt so grim all the time. <sighs> so I thought, oh, the best thing to do is to just get changed and keep having showers and baths to try and block, unblock my nose. Um, but I am getting a bit worried about this block nose I'm not gonna lie so actually if you go to like vlogs from a couple years ago um after my treatment and everything I had a block nose for literally like it was like four months it was a long time and I went on steroids um for my nose which didn't unblock it um and I ended up seeing a nose um ear nose and throat specialist and they sent me for an MRI and it basically showed that my um I don't know what they're called these bits up here were very swollen and they think it was a reaction from treatment um I had cancer well I was diagnosed three years ago so yeah I had cancer like three years ago now um if you've just joined me or you're new here so yeah and thankfully it cleared up it just cleared up on its own and I thought at the time I, I'd had enough surgery, do you know what I mean? Like I've had I had a lot of treatment in that year afterwards as well. Like I've just kept getting infections and ended up in hospital. It was a really, really hard year. Um and at the time I was like, I don't want to get put under surgery. But now I'm feeling like this isn't gonna clear. And I feel like I should have probably gone from the surgery. 
um, because once my body, how can I explain this? Basically, something if something triggers something in my body, I tend to have it for quite a long time, um, and that's because I have an immune system, but it's compromised because I don't um, produce any new white blood cells. So I have enough white blood cells um, to keep me safe, to keep me, you know, in normal everyday life. But if it's a new cold, a new flu, any new strain of virus my body doesn't have hasn't got the defense mechanism in in the body to protect myself am i making sense i hope i am it's very technical on trying to explain the ins and outs of bloods and this is probably really boring so i'm going to shut up anyway but um yeah i don't think this block nose is going to go so which honestly everyone's had a block nose you know what it's like don't you you know what it's like when you've got blocked nose for two days, when you've got blocked nose for, you know, two months, three months, four months, it, it, it's depressing. Anyway, a bit of a depressing turn of the vlog, isn't it? So, I think I'm just gonna, well, I'm not just gonna chill. I've been talking for four minutes now, so I'm not going to chill. I've got to go and pick up Lana in half an hour. I still need to brush my teeth. I haven't brushed my teeth today, so I need to go and do that. Um, my partner's just texted me to say that I have to pick him up from work which is a half an hour drive, so I've got to leave here at three. I'm probably not going to get back till five. So I suppose I'll probably see you on the flip side. Um, because it's just a pain in the ass to drive and I can't be arsed. Shimmer on our skin 